Hello, this is Dr. Brant Gibson, and tonight I want to talk to you about one other type of fracture, basically the avulsion fracture. The most common avulsion fracture we talked about a little bit yesterday, which is on the metatarsal, the fifth metatarsal here, where you get a pseudo Jones, pseudo Jones fracture, or an avulsion type fracture of the styloid process of the fifth metatarsal. So you get this portion of the bone that's broken and off. You can get an avulsion fracture in other areas as well. It's commonly, avulsion fractures are going to happen close to a joint. You may jam the toe and get a piece of bone that's pulled off or broken off. Avulsion fractures. Typically, an avulsion fracture is avulsed or pulled off from a tendon or ligament attachment. So if there's no attachments there, um, most of the time it's not called an avulsion fracture, even though it could be a small piece from the compression or whatever on that particular bone. So avulsion fracture is pulled off. The problem with that is because it's attached to a ligament or tendon, they are harder to heal because they have continue to have that continuous pull on that and you can get a displacement that's significant enough that it's actually harder to heal. So there are multiple ways you can treat that. Anything from surgical correction to manipulation in such a way to put that fragment back in place and then casting or booting in such a way to not allow it to move again. So in an avulsion fracture, in this bone, a lot of times you may have to treat it with additional treatments, whether it's a screw or something similar, but you may also just allow it and give it a lot of time to heal and they can heal anyway. So with an avulsion fracture, you want to reduce the stress so that it's not pulling on that piece of bone constantly and you want to give it time to heal. Bone, as you remember, takes six to eight weeks to heal, so you should treat it that way. And if you do, if you give it time to heal, a lot of times it can heal just like any other fracture, but you do have to protect them more because of that tendon or ligament attachment. This is Dr. Brian Gibson, and this is your Podiatry Tips Day 